Hi all, Planet Site Agent here. Today I want to take a look at a uh, aluminum mess tin cook set that I recently purchased doing an unboxing and we'll talk about it. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. The uh, reason I purchased this, uh, I've seen uh, quite a few videos recently on uh, people that have uh, been using the, uh, the Trangia uh, square mess tin which is which is kind of kind of cool and also um, I've seen this, several videos on people that have made uh, uh, survival kits out of these which looks like a real good idea to me so I saw one on Amazon uh, was uh, pretty inexpensive I think this was 21 22 something like this for the whole kit so we'll go ahead and take this out and uh, take a look at what you get oh. Up the old box here. Make sure I'm staying in frame. I have a bad habit of drifting out. Okay. So here's what you get in the kit. Now I've seen, uh, I've seen these kits, uh, all kinds of variations on on different kits. You can get just just the plain uh, mess tin with the handle, or you can get it with all kinds of other. Uh, uh, goodies which is depending on what you want is kind of interesting so this one kind of had a lot of good stuff in it so I went ahead and got it like I say they're all pretty inexpensive this is a smaller one this is the 800 milliliter uh, capacity you can see it's not not real big size wise uh, just the outside dimensions it's uh, 6.5 inches or 165 millimeters this way it's uh, 3.74 about you know three and a quarter inches uh, width you know that's uh, what 950 can you read my own writing it looks like about uh, nine uh, yeah about 950 milliliters millimeters <laughs> and uh, depth is uh, keeping this in uh, 2.64 inches or 670 millimeters. Let's double check this. Yeah, it's uh, 1,650 uh, millimeters. So anyway, that's the uh, the dimensions on this thing. The whole kit. Well, I'll, I'll weigh it later because it's got the packing material, which you probably won't carry in your kit. So let's stay over here where the camera's at. <laughs> So you got a lid, and inside, which is kind of nice, it came with its own little stuff sack. This is cotton. Uh, I've also heard these uh, referred to as rice bags, so I guess you could do that if you wanted to. But it's a, it's a uh, stuff sack, but it's cotton, which I don't know if that's particularly a big deal. So it comes with a uh, esbit type solid fuel stove collapsible. So let's see what this thing's like. There we go. Close up look at that. Looks like your classic. I don't know size wise. I should dig out. Uh, they tape this. <laughs> Looks like they taped it. Ah. There we go. I think these are standard size. I have to compare it against some of the other ones I have, the Esbin or the uh, uh, Coglins solid fuel stove. So it comes with that. Okay. Also, it's pretty nice. Came with one of these foldable wind aluminum windscreens. So I'll take a look at that. Pretty good size windscreen which is nice it, it comes with it and it also fits inside the kit and this one came with a steamer rack so this depend on whether you're going to steam stuff like uh, these are real popular with uh, like a lot of the Asian uh, people that uh, cook you know rice and, and steam uh, you know dumplings and buns so they're real popular with this but you could use it for I guess anything you could think of I did see one guy that he put his rice in the bottom and then he put his uh, fish on top of it so they all kind of heated together. I think he made a uh, 
he made his own grill, but this one comes with it, so, which is nice that all this stuff fits together in there. I don't know if I'll ever use this or not, but I just thought it was kind of neat that it was a complete kit. So, I think the only thing you really need to add would be maybe if you want to use this like a frying pan, you'd have to get a, uh, some kind of a, a pot grip, and I might look into getting one of those or adding it to this if I decide to build this up as a kit, and you could use it as a fry pan, although they also they use this tin as a fry pan too, so you cook sausage and eggs in it. See, this is the smaller one. Say it's 800 millimeters. Uh, they do make a 1,000 millimeter one, which would probably make it easier for cooking anything elaborate in it. Um, but I got this small, smaller one just because I think I might just build this into a, a survival kit. This this would be a nice start for a, a, a car survival kit, or um, you could probably even put it in, in a day pack combination. But I'll probably get, build up some kind of a, a cook kit, add all the different stuff you need for a complete kit, or maybe build a couple survival kits out of this this one just to see how it works. And if I if I do, and or when I get around to it, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, do a video of that. Now the, these these aluminum cook sets like that tend to have kind of sharp edges here. So uh, before I put it to use, I'll definitely uh, run over these um, with a uh, some emery paper just to smooth them out, just to lessen the chance of uh, of, of cutting myself. Of course, as I'm uh, getting older, my skin is getting thin, and I'm constantly always nicking and getting getting cut so it's kind of annoying is what it is but it, it is what it is as they say so anyway um got like i say these they got some options with this thing you can use the uh the esbit solid fuel tablets or you could use the um the uh, gelled little gel tablets that you can get i haven't seen too many of those around they seem to use them a lot from some of the british channels i've i've watched you could probably add, also add like a small aluminum, uh, or excuse me, a small, small alcohol burner. In this case, I have, uh, this is an alcohol burner that I made out of a mini Altoids tin. Uh, I did a video on this. I'll uh, go ahead and send you, or put a link in the description of this video if you're interested. But this should, this should work real fine too, because it's about the size of one of those gel, those gel tablets or gel caps. And the uh, or the or the bigger esbets. So I think the only problem with this is uh, the lid on this is a little higher. But uh, it'd be a lot cleaner and not stink like a esbet fuel tab. Um, I'm thinking of also making some of the round type. You might have seen the the round um, alcohol fuel stoves. Uh, the different sizes. I'm, Gonna, as soon as I measure this, I'm gonna find out what sizes will fit. This one will is really too big, but I'm probably make a smaller one that way. I won't have the problem with this lid sticking up. Although I imagine you set it off a little bit lower, really wouldn't make that much difference in the burn. Actually, this probably worked just fine, just like that. But I might make uh, some alcohol burners out of these tins later on. If I do, I'll. Uh, definitely do a video of that so let's see now there's other stuff you know you could always add to it to, to complete the kit I probably will oh this is a side note and I'll put a link to it or I'll put a, probably a photograph right here I saw another one of these kits it was kind of interesting it came with a bamboo cutting board that fit perfectly inside and it also came with a spork and a uh, uh, knockoff of a uh, open hole folding knife which would be kind of a nice uh, nice kit too you could do so there are a lot of options on these kits and prices so you can kind of get what you want I think they're like I say they're really really nice that they all fit together so I wonder if this will fit in the folding stove oh so, yep this will fit inside so you can uh, go ahead and uh, put this all back together Oop. <laughs> the windscreen and the stove and you could probably get some uh, cutlery in there this is a uh, the folding stuff that you can get so you could probably put those either in the bag or not in the bag 
Let's see if those will fit in there. And um, yeah, a little high. I don't know. I think if I built this up as a cook kit, I think I might leave the burner out just see it on the side. But for right now, see it's all fold up and uh, it'll fit in the in the stuff sack. And it's and it's big enough that you could probably get some more stuff. Like I said, for a, a real cook kit, I might leave this out so I can get more other stuff in there. Or you could leave the windscreen out, any combination. And uh, yeah, I think you'd still have room in your stuff sack for those other items. So it keeps more inside, the cooking, the cooking related stuff inside where it'd be cleaner. And we can get the, uh, get all this in there. Now I don't think you can get, I think you have to pick the uh, windscreen or the stove, one or the other, or you can just use any any stove for that matter. But if you want to keep this as a kit and use this as your as your burner element, then you can always do that. So, uh, I think just for uh, I'll give you the uh, weights on all this stuff if you're interested in it. So uh, let's fire up the uh, my scale. Take the uh, burner out. So we... okay, so let's let's do some weights. Uh, just the just the pot itself, or the mess tin, is. Uh, let me change this to. Oops! Oops! That's... Uh, yeah, 6.1 ounces is the mess tin. The uh, little stove is 3.6 ounces. The steamer grill, 1.5 ounces. The windscreen is 3.3 ounces. And for completeness, the bag is, yeah, get on there, 0.9 of an ounce. I mean, now it's. Get it on here. Yeah, yeah, it's just shy of an ounce. So we put this whole kit together as it came. Sands the uh, packaging. It weighs just shy of a pound, fifteen point seven ounces. So. Not too bad. Like I say, it's a good size. You could build up a nice little kit, you know, put your matches or lighters and all that kind of stuff in it. Make a nice little cook kit or survival kit or any number of things. So I do like the idea of a survival kit because you do get a pretty decent sized pan and boil, well, uh, quite a bit of water in it or any number of things. So let's see. Make sure I didn't, uh, gave you the weights, gave you the sizes, talked about Amazon. And uh, hmm, I don't even know what that note is. I guess I should. Huh, I guess I should uh, improve my handwriting so I can read my own notes. <laughs> so, anyway, that's uh, all I can think about this thing. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.